or whatever. But we're going to try to talk a little bit. Um, you and I sat on the porch back in uh, spring of 2018 and discussed the situation with uh, Wilson Creek and our grave concerns about the future of the river. Something I had been following and watching the work you did, uh, were doing for over probably 10 years and have been growing con increasingly concerned about your ability to continue doing what you were doing in terms of cleaning the river. Even though you had started the nonprofit and incorporated, uh, you were struggling, I think it's fair to say, with managing the nonprofit, running the store, cleaning up the trash, that kind of thing. So we had a long conversation, you and I, heart to heart, so to speak, about what could be done and rethinking the whole nonprofit idea and what it would require to make a real difference for the long term and the sustainability of a real conservation effort. Um, and we came out with a plan and the, the, the next three years is kind of history. I, I think it's fair to say we have both worked pretty hard and a number of other people have worked really, really hard to organize and create a credible nonprofit conservation group that now is supported and uh, sponsored by the National Forest Service. And we have received a uh, place of operation out of the old Conservation Corps building right across from you. Uh, and um, we've done a lot of hard work cleaning up trash. We've got some incredible team members who go the extra mile in hauling mounds of trash out of the river. And we've also been working very closely to develop relationships with the core jurisdiction landowners uh, on the Wilson Creek 15 mile track that we uh, oversee. And that would obviously include the National Forest Service, Lower Gorge area, Caldwell County government uh, owns some of the property access points and the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission uh, oversees much of the upper river as well as a number of private landowners that live along the route and also help us quite a bit um, with the river river work that we do. Can you get that? Sorry Good. about the phone, guys. Just, You're okay. Just like Wes was saying, I, I run Betsy's Old Country Store. I help clean up the creek. It's a heck of a job. But somebody's got to do it. Uh, what can I say? I don't know how many years ago I started this thing, picking up trash. I was just uh, getting kind of upset that every time I would leave out of here to go anywhere 10 years ago, the mountains and mountains and mountains of garbage on the side of the river. I don't even know who picked it up back then, but sometimes, sometimes it got gone. And then I come to figure out later that the Forest Service would come up here and pick up their lands on probably Tuesday with their volunteers. And I thought to myself, you know, it's not really good for my business if people are driving up here and seeing a mountain of garbage here and a mountain of garbage there. So I decided to, hey, I'm going to buy a pickup truck and I'm going to go pick all this stuff up the best that I can. So I incorporated uh, the people who were working here at the time, Colton Ryan Blake and 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 Ed Hunt and oh, it's just been so many different people that I have coerced into helping me pick up trash, including my friend Mike across the street. And I just said, you know, this is costing time, energy, and effort. I think that I'll try to. I think I'll try to do something to help pay for all this because. You know, Betsy's is a very small and tiny business and, you know, picking up the cost of paying people to pick up the trash was becoming daunting. So I had a, uh, what do you call it? I had an oyster roast. I, I would cook, I would cook, uh, you know, barbecue ribs, whatever I could do to get money coming in this place. And it sort of evolved into, uh, Sorry about the phone, guys. Really am. It's okay. But uh, that's just being yeah. like So I uh, started having the oyster roast. And then I was uh, told that in order to have an oyster roast, I needed to be a nonprofit, which hit me blindsided because I never knew anything about nonprofits, how it worked. So I called my lawyer and I said, 
hey, can you make me a nonprofit? Yeah. So did that, paid for all that and got going. And we ran that for about a year, maybe a year and a half. And then the higher power saw it fit to be that Wes Wall would come into the picture and say, hey, what can I do to help you? I think this is a good thing. And I said, brother, I need somebody to administrate this fund because I have no idea how to do this. So thank you very much, Wes. And that's pretty much it as far as how it got started and just picking up trash and shanghaiing whoever I could to help me pick up garbage. And look what it's morphed into. It's now a, it's going to be something that will last for years and years and years. And hopefully it will last far after I am gone. And you too, Wes. Me too. I, I, I want to eventually uh, turn it over to younger younger souls so I can do a little more fly fishing on the river and then just help pick up trash <laughs> instead of run the whole thing. It's a, it's, be, it's been a great learning experience. Um, it's been something I've been passionate about having come to Wilson Creek since I was 18 and led a North Carolina State outing club trip to camp right across the road from you uh, in the front yard of Orville Hollander, the Forest Service uh, manager, I think, of that era. And, and I fell in love with the place. Um, and, and, you know, we, you and I have worked really hard to, again, make something that is sustainable uh, with this new plan that we have. And it, it honestly does seem to be working really well, but it, you know, it's chipping away at a complex problem because of the number of uh, issues along the river. But um, a lot of people don't realize that, that you pretty much were a solo act out of Betsy's cleaning the river for, for close to 10 years or even over 10 years uh, until we started gathering forces with our Clean Wilson Creek team and we reorganized. But um, basically going back in time a little bit, in the year uh, August of 2000, Wilson Creek was designated as a wild national wild and scenic river which is one of only several hundred in the country and quite a uh, crown in the cap of North Carolina. And so one of the things that you and I both are committed to and feel strongly about is just the incredible beauty of this river and the fact that it needs to be maintained in its natural state. Uh, even though, yes, we want public access, we want people to enjoy it, use it responsibly. Uh, so that designation kind of planted a flag for the, the conservation effort um, but there was a lot of private land along the river, uh, owned a lot of it, 650 acres or close to that was owned by the Lutz family property management, uh, which kind of has great history in the Mortimer area. So as I understand around 2008, the Foothills Nature Conservation negotiated with the Lutz family to make this a conservation tract, correct? And um, yes. until that, until that time, Luke's family leased a lot of the land along the river for camping. And I know that there were, uh, back in that era, when I used to frequent the river, I had friends that owned lease spots and I would uh, hang out and fish in those camping areas along the river. And I think you, your campground extended across uh, the road to the other side of uh, Brown Mountain Beach to where there were a number of sites there. So when the track became nature conservation, designation, it was given oversight to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. I think that's correct. And then all the folks had to vacate that leased land that had previously been leased to them by the Lutz family. So tell us a little bit about that era and the transition and then what you saw happening after that. Well, uh, when the Lutz family partnership uh, sold that land to the Nature Conservancy, the Nature Conservancy went in and brought a big tub grinder up here and ground up everything that was not nailed down. Basically, the whole idea behind this, this sale and this Nature Conservancy's uh, goal was to turn Wilson Creek uh, into the way it looked you know, 100, 150, 250 years ago, back when we had Indians, back when this was uh, part of uh, the British colony. And it's, it's slowly reverting back to its natural state. It was pretty rough for a while because people didn't know what was going on or, and, and they lost their leases. And I, even I lost 
uh, my lease because I had a nice cabin down on Wilson Creek. But there be it said, it is now protected for eternity, in my opinion, or until, you know, something happens beyond our comprehension. Anyway, now the state of North Carolina said, well, well I'll tell you what, let's turn that four mile a section of the Lutz Family Partnership land into a delayed harvest trout stream, which has greatly increased the amount of people coming up here to sport fish in the catch and release section, which I think is a great thing. So, so one of the things that, uh, from my understanding, occurred was turning it, turning that upper area, particularly back to more of a natural environment. Uh, and removing a lot of the facilities and camping uh, structures and things like that, in, in a sense, was a great thing for the long-term sustainability of a natural scenic river. And at the same time, um, the, the challenges we face is that Wilson Creek is easily accessed by a Department uh, of Transportation public highway called Brown Mountain Beach Road, not really thought of in terms of a traditional highway, but it gives folks easy access to the riverbank. So, so the lack of infrastructure, trash, bathrooms, things like that is really kind of the future of the challenges that we face. And uh, as the district uh, ranger for the grandfather district, Nick Larson says, uh, one of the things that we're experiencing right now is incredible use and overuse of public lands because of COVID and the fact that people have more time and need less expensive recreation uh, at their disposal. So every public land around our area, Lindell Gorge, Wilson Creek, and other uh, national forest areas are being really incredibly heavily used and in some cases abused right now. So the challenges of 2020 have been exceptional and we've done our best to rise to meet that uh, with trash removal in 2020. But use of the public lands is not likely going to decrease. So our philosophy at Clean Wilson Creek is that uh, we try to encourage responsible users and to discourage irresponsible users from the area to the degree possible. And we're working on a lot of projects to educate folks about trash removal, about protecting the environment, uh, about micro trash. We pick up tons of sippy straw covers and bottle caps and things like that. So one of the goals of the Clean Wilson Creek is riverfront education with the groups that are using the river and handing out trash bags and providing infrastructure with support from the Forest Service and North Carolina Wildlife so that the, the trash problem is reduced to the, to the degree possible. And we're making real progress with that. Um, but uh, I want to thank Bruce. Uh, for his years of commitment to the river. And uh, I'm excited about having Betsy's as a continuing business sponsor. Uh, but the onus of all the river cleanup is no longer on Bruce Gray and Betsy's now that we've moved to the uh, Forest Service Sponsorship uh, Conservation Center there. And we're going to continue to partner to do everything we can. So, Bruce, thank you. I want you to get your Halloween costume clean and ready for tonight. I know you've got tons of trick-or-treaters that will be there socially distanced at Betsy's, right? Thank you very much, Wes. I want everybody hey. to know that we are working really hard. We're all working really hard to keep this place beautiful and clean. And if there's anything that you would like to do, if you know some young people who would like to come out and help us, we can certainly use it. The average age of the people who help us volunteer is in our late 50s, early 60s. So we'd appreciate anything that you can do to help us. Thank you very much. If there's anything yeah. you can do, give me a call at Betsy's Old Country Store, 828-758-5051. Yeah, as, as Bruce said, we're always seeking uh, new volunteers for our team and it doesn't require any uh, tremendous commitment other than hopefully you can go through a training and orientation with us. We'll be offering probably one of those in November and one in early December with the weather pending to train new volunteers. Uh, what we mostly need are folks that are willing to make a one or two day or more commitment um, per month on a 
weekend or following a weekend is really good, like on a Monday or Tuesday, to help us do an overall river patrol. Um, but we do require that you go through some orientation and training because Wilson Creek can be kind of a dangerous place. Uh, and we want you to be protected while you're doing that and aware of how we interact with the river users and folks like that. But we have a website, a clean Wilson Creek, no spaces dot org that you can see in the quadrant there. Um, and you can click a volunteer form to fill out a form and you can also donate on the website as well. Um, one of the things we're really trying to do is increase our regional outreach because we have a lot of users that uh, fly fish and kayak from other areas of North Carolina, mountain bikers, um, and most of those folks are very responsible, environmentally conscientious users of the river, and we're trying to, uh, again, get them involved in our organization. Uh, so, so we're putting out a number of Facebook ads and media type things to uh, target those folks to help us with uh, not only financial support, but helping us spread the word about conservation and using Wilson Creek properly. So um, we've got kind of a cool little video clip that's going to go out, Bruce, here shortly. Uh, I'm going to probably post tomorrow that will be uh, going all over the southeast from Virginia on down to Georgia to population centers. And again, we have some of those users that are currently helping us take care of the river and financially supporting us. So uh, this is just a nice little nature clip and we're gonna end with that. And uh, we'll watch this together, Bruce. I'm gonna hide you and me.